Okay, today my quest is to decorate this little corner. This It's not even a pillar. Um, it's just the wall that leads into my kitchen area. But I want to do something new. I always like to do new stuff for you guys each year. And I'm going to apply a garland like halfway across and down, sort of like I did on my front door. If you watch my fall front door, um, I'm going to do that. I've got an older garland. Again, resurrect your old stuff, you guys. You have plenty of it. I know you do. I did get a garland this year. This was my first new purchase, and I, th my inspiration were those new crystals on it. There are these gorgeous crystals on it and the snow. And then I have these that I bought at the end of the season last year, 75% off. And see how they drape? And don't look at my floor. I've got Christmas stuff everywhere. But see how they drape? So I'm looking to make this whole um, foresty themed um, as you walk into the kitchen to go with the, um, you remember the garden window that I did, I entered uh, last week for you. So anyway, um, we'll go step by step. Hang on and, and uh, I'll give you as much information as I work on it as I can. Okay, I wanted to show you this part because basically it looks ugly. <laughs> And I want you to know that it is all about the layering. I always tell you that. This is a, a cheap garland. It truly is a very inexpensive garland. But I want to show you that as soon as I fluff it and start layering everything else into it, I'm going to make it quite beautiful. So don't be afraid. Step one is always kind of ugly. We're going to make it beautiful. I have now fluffed it and added lights. And the lights I chose this time because I'm trying to mimic the crystals are these, um, I'm sure you've seen them, they're, the, they're kind of round. I think they actually say on the box like a crystal light. And I wanted to mimic the crystals that I had shown you earlier on that garland. So I just fluffed it and added some lights and then I'll pull the lights through the additional garland as I get it up there. Alrighty, I have um, completed at least the greenery section of this. And you can see I just added this extra bow that I had laying down there, that one that I told you I got this year. And I brought it down and I twined it into the existing greenery. And that still doesn't look good down there, but don't worry, I'll take care of it. And we come up and you can see I added the kind of feathery greenery hanging down. So again, it's kind of cascading down um, from my um, archway here. So I'm, I'm happy thus far um, with the overall feel of it. And now I'm going to begin adding a few ornaments in as well. So, um, and then I have a light source down there, which is kind of cool. So anyway, this is, this is right now what I've completed. And again, I didn't want to go all the way across. That wasn't the intention. I put my Christmas tree over here on the left, right behind me and I didn't want it to be um, overkill. So anyway, I'm liking what I see right now and I'll keep working on it. Okay, here is one side from my kitchen, my ugly chandelier, from my kitchen, this beautiful, um, I, 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 the best I can describe it is it's kind of a magical entryway. Uh, it's very woodlandy to me and, and, and just, I'm loving it. I don't even know how to describe it besides the fact that it's super magical. I decided to go with only these long ornaments because it gives it the, the, the length and the whole beauty of this is how it cascades down, you know, the whole dropping cascading effect kind of from those feathery branches up top. Um, but the ornaments that I used, I made sure I put them on fishing wire so they catch the light they just they spin and they sparkle and with the lights recessed amongst all the different um, foliage that's in there and then the different um, the different types of metallics and metals and 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 um, the different a little bit of snow and a little bit of crystal it's just really it turned out really quite lovely so again this is just one small section of the house that I've completed and I'm sure as you look around you can see the background so many rooms aren't done but this is one more 
accomplishment. <laughs> so thank you again for watching Designs by Michelle. I hope that you tune in for many more of my design tutorials this holiday season, as well as please take time to look at past seasons. I started October 10th of 2010, and I currently believe I have about 52 videos. So please tune in, go to my channel, and find some other design ideas that might interest you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.